breaking news. An attorney representing one of the men indicted for the death of a Wake County deputy says he was in the area, but he didn't pull the trigger. Thanks for joining us. I'm Gerald Owens and I'm Deborah Morgan. Someone killed Deputy Ned Bird back in August. Since then, his family and the community have been asking who did it and why. A pair of brothers, Alder Alfonso Marin Sotelo and Arturo Marin Sotelo, have been indicted in connection to his death. Court documents show them each claiming the other killed Bird. Tonight, only on WREL, we're hearing from Bird's sister as she tries to get justice for her brother. Chelsea Donovan joins us live with what she said and a significant development in court today during a bond hearing. Chelsea? That's right. Arturo's attorney had every intention today of asking for bail for his client. But after that 45 minute bond hearing, that actually went off the table when the state presented a document that Arturo is in this country without legal documentation. 29 year old Arturo Sotelo enters a Wake County courtroom. He's been in jail for three months along with his brother Alder, charged in the murder of Wake County Deputy Ned Bird. Oh, I knew it was going to be hard. Bird's sister and other family members, along with deputies, filled the courtroom as Jay Ferguson, Arturo's attorney, grilled the lead investigator in this case for more than 30 minutes, stating the evidence just isn't there that Arturo pulled the trigger. What information or evidence do you have that? indicates that my client was involved in the shooting of Deputy Byrd. When Arturo Sotelo was interviewed after his arrest, he said he was in a field deer hunting when he heard gunshots and called his brother Alder to see what was going on. And Arturo indicates that later that night, Alder came and picked him up near the Noose River. The state says they have evidence both brothers' phones were near where Bird was killed after analyzing cell tower data where Bird was found, but Arturo's attorney says that's not enough for a murder charge. Both Alder and Arturo were picked up by U.S. Marshals in the western part of the state after the murder, and the state says that is telling. You were running when they caught you. So if you didn't do anything wrong, what are you running from? Bird's sister says she hopes justice prevails for her brother. Z was an amazing person that, that not only I lost, the community lost, everyone lost. He would do anything for anybody. He was just, he was my hero. And Arturo's attorney says he needs evidence right now to build this case for his client, and he wants it to come to him as the state receives it. That's something they call rolling evidence, but a judge says he won't make that decision until next month. Gerald. Chelsea Donovan live at the Wake County Detention Center. Thank you.